Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to effectively set up your bank in order to do the most essential things that you do on a daily basis, whether that's farm runs or slayer runs, whatever it is. Okay, I'm going to show you the layout and the structure, the system rather, sorry, and then you can copy that for whatever skill you're doing on a daily basis. So if you're a fire, if you do fire making every day with every single log, you can copy the system. Okay, so what I do every day is herb runs and I do slayer. So as you can see, I've got things laid out, it might seem in a weird way, but they're in a specific way for a reason. For example, I do herb runs every single day, okay? So I have my herb gear set out in a way that I can easily get it in a couple seconds and then go straight into my herb run. I'll show you an example. Let's see how quick it is for me to get up all my herb gear and the herb seeds and the super compost without having to scour through all the tabs using the search function and taking like 30 seconds, okay? This is going to take me, I don't know, five to six seconds. Let's see if I fail my clicks or not. Okay. There we go. So I got all my herb gear up, and I only take four seeds because there's only four patches, and then I teleport. That was really slow for me, to be honest. And I lay out my inventory in a way, I put my herbs over here, my compost over here. Okay. And then when I'm ready, I take the herbs. So that's for my farming. And then when I'm done, teleport back to Edgeville, or wherever I want to go. And I'll bank everything, okay? And then I'll do it again in an hour, you see? So I have my limp root seeds and my fell stocks. I don't have any magic or use right now, that's why I don't have any placeholders here. Um, these are the seeds I have the most access to as the hardcore Iron Man without having to farm much, so I put them over here, okay? Food, I put cave fish right next to the rock tails because cave fish is very easy and there's an abundance of it to access. The bank is right next to the fishing pool. Rock tail, on the other hand, you have to do living rock cavern as a slayer task farm and mine the, the the creatures and then you actually have to go and farm the rocktail which takes considerably longer compared to cavefish so i use rocktail for bosses where i think it will be a challenge and i use cavefish for everyday slayer or everyday activities where i just need food okay obviously for summoning most of us only use pack yaks or steel type pouches i could use the fire giant which i believe is for rune crafting it gives you a plus six invisible boost correct me if i'm wrong i can't remember i haven't done rune crafting in a while but the main uh, titans, sorry, main summoning things that I use are these, okay? Yak pack for storing, steel titan for damage. Currencies, I keep them over here. These are the two currencies I use the most. Dragonfire shield is not, I don't prefer it to be there, but I don't have a visage right now. I'm going to be farming one. Now for Slayer, which is something I do also, also, I keep all my gear over here for combat, okay? So if I want to gear up for Slayer, this is what I do, okay? This is all my Slayer gear. Done. Okay. This is my main setup gear. I have CLS or Rapier, depending on if I'm killing dragons or if I'm not. Stab or Slash. That depends on you and what you're killing, okay? So let's say Rapier. I use Rapier most of the time. Now, Magic is the same thing. Just take all the Magic gear out. And there you go. All done. Oh, obviously, you got to get the runes as well, depending on what you're doing. If you want to do Polypore staffing, you don't require any more runes. If you're doing Barraging, you, know, you get your barrage runes out. Uh, you don't need the sorens unless you're using blood barrage. Okay. Um, what I also have is I have my bone crusher, herbicide, and charming imp right next to each other. So when I'm doing slayer, magic, or anything else that re requires combat, I can just quickly do that and take them out within seconds. Okay. So that's how you want to set up your bank. I also have mystery boxes here. Considering where I want to put these, I don't really know right now. I do have my uh, play our own house, shop, bank, not shop, bank, I might put them in there, we'll see, but I also have my bossing items, which is my Saradomic Spear, when I do Corporal Beast, um, Saradomic Whisper, if I want to have more strength bonus, and BGS, if I want to lower someone's defense, okay, and Dragon Claws, it's just for a special attack weapon, so that's how I set up my main bank, okay, um, for potions, I'm just going to quickly go over that, you want to put your most important potions on the first row, okay? So I use all these potions mainly when I'm doing things, okay? You might ask, where is overloads? I don't really have many overloads. That's why I don't really put them over here. Um, these are the potions I use the most, hence why they're over here. And I lay out five dose to one dose beneath these, depending on the corresponding potion, like strength is here, so I put all the five dose and one dose under it. So that when I drink the six dose, and let's say I finish the slayer task and I have two dose left, I bank it, it goes tidily under here. Okay, and when I run out of six dose, I can just recant. 
uh, the two dos and make them back into a six dos. Okay, it's very clean, it's very effective, and I don't have the scale on my bank for anything. All Slayer items go in here, just makes it clean and tidy. Okay, so that's how I like to keep my bank. I am going to be restructuring it to be minimal because I am a minimalist. So I like my bank to be tidy, clean, and only keep the essentials, depending on what I need. But I am a hardcore iron man, so it's a bit tricky to be a minimalist at the same time because you don't know when what you'll need and when you'll need it. Alright, so that's how I set up my bank. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I'll